All right, guys, what's up? We got sales and script and dialogue training. Today's uh, Wednesday, July 27th. Um, on, on the agenda today, we're going to um, watch a, a short little video from one of Grant Cardone's trainings. It's pretty cool just to kind of see some of these guys battle it out on their script. And what I really want to focus on today is our intro on uh, when we're calling and following up with leads. So when we're calling through the pond or we're calling an old lead and we're trying to re-engage them, or maybe it's someone that uh, you talk to at an open house or just an old lead. It's not someone that inquired uh, and you answered the call. It's someone that you're following up with that you haven't spoke to in a while, because that's a lot of what, uh, what happens, right? Is we're doing a lot of follow-up with older leads. So how, to re how do we re-engage these guys? And I really just want to work on that first part, which is that intro and being able to kind of throw a couple objections and see how you guys handle it. But to kind of inspire you to be a little more creative and to be a little bit more aggressive and kind of have fun with it, I want us to watch this first couple minutes of this Grant Cardone's uh, training video that he does a role play with some of his guys. So let me share my screen real quick. Uh, second. And I really want you guys to take away a, um, a lot of what they say, not just what they actually do on the training, but a, their mentality behind role playing and why it's important to role play and stuff like that to keep your sales skills sharp. And we're going to listen to this and then we're going to do role play. So each person here on the training today, we're going to go over the script with you. Everyone's going to get a chance to do their script and. I'm going to be the, the client that you guys are calling, and I'm just going to throw some wild cards at you. So uh, if you guys can turn your screens on so we know you guys are ready to participate. Um, let me share my screen and play this video. All right. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, we can. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yep. Can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you guys – give me a thumbs up if you can hear when I hit play. Uncle GC, come on, man. Can you, can you guys hear you, it? Uh, yep. consider, consider role playing. How often would you um, recommend it? Recommend what? Role, role playing. Script. Every day. I, re I recommend role playing every day. And how long? See, if uh, it's worth doing, if it's worth doing one day, it's worth doing every day. And how long would you recommend doing it with the team? Like fifteen minutes? Yeah, yeah. Minutes? Like, like, like. Uh, where's, where's Steve Spray? Where's, where, where's the guys that do the role playing? Who wants to do this, Jerry? Okay, let, let, let's do a little role play. Jared, who you, who do you want to use here? Who you get? Role, role play the close. You come up here, guys. Come up here. Steve Spray, Mr. Steve Spray, farm boy. And Dave. Dave. Come on, Dave. My security come on, Steve. Okay, so you, you guys just want to talk about... You guys want, want to talk about... Um, one, one, what you've learned. How long have you been there, Dave? Four years? Four and a half years, yeah. My place. How long, Steve? Five years. So what have you learned about being there? Uh, really just everything he talks about where what people are really thinking. You know, like when he told me that there's only four things people object to, price, time, stall, and product. But the first theory I was coming up, the last one, I was like, oh, dude, it's always the product. Yeah. So they don't believe something. And to ask the hard questions, hey, what do you not believe about what we're doing? And it changed everything. Yeah, and, and he does a great job. Dave does a great job. Uh, the role playing and the training, the, the success meetings we have every day, how has that helped you both stay focused? And, and how has it contributed to your production? First off, it's stable. I know it's happening every day. Every day at 840, from 840 to 9 o'clock, that's exactly what we're going to do every day. And for me, I got to the point where... I get to help the new guys, which helps sharpen me. Uh -huh. So the stable thing, there's no question on this is exactly what we're doing every single day. And so they're doing aware. role playing at what time every day? 840 to 904. Yeah. So to answer your question, how long? They're doing about 24 minutes every day. So do y'all want to show them how that works? Like we didn't plan this today. So it's Saturday. Um, what would so you I was say, hey, Steve, what, what are you working on today? Are you what, sitting what, what down? Are you, are you standing up? Either one. We usually sit down, stand up. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, sit down or stand face up. to face. I mean, we role play with each other. I mean, Dave, this is Steve Grant Cardone's office. How you doing this morning? Hey, man, what's up? 
Hey, listen, Grant, when we reach out and give you access to the number one sales training program in the world, you got two minutes? Yeah, I'm not going to be interested, man. I knew you were before I called you, but I wanted to get you access to it so that way you could use it before we talked. You got a couple minutes? I could just give you access. I'd say what? Call me back in two weeks. Done. I'll call you back in two weeks. But if you give me 30 seconds, I want you to know what I'm going to call you back about. Jump in front of a computer, go to cardonuniversity.com. I, just, I don't have time right now. I know you don't. You have 15 seconds. Cardonuniversity.com. And see, I'm not hitting, I, and it's, I, he knows what I'm going to say to him. Uh-huh. I'm not coming up with stuff. I'm, it's something, I make it a real call. It's actually what we hear on the call. I'm busy. Call me back. I'm not interested. And then that's out of the way. And it gets me to where I want to go. So now he's got that out of the way. He's had his first guy tell him what? I'm not interested. What's he preparing for today? Right? What's the thing y'all say about Rusty? How long does it take to get Rusty? One day. Sometimes 12 hours. Yeah. Sometimes three hours. So so you got got a sales team? Exactly. You got a sales team coming back from a vacation after three days? Can't even find himself for a day and a half. Can't find herself. You get on the phone, you call somebody. I'm not interested. Oh, God, I hate this job. <laughs> he, he, got, he got this handled already, 840. Okay, now we're going to flip it and have Steve do it the other can, way. Because that, Go ahead. Can I say one thing about this? So with the role play, it got me to like be in the position to understand what's going on. So when Grant tells me that it's all made up, and I'm like, okay, good. And then I get on the phone with somebody who says, I don't have time right now. And I, Grant tells me that it's all made up. And I'm like, you don't have time for what, man? You pick up the phone. Bad. He would have time if it was the right thing. The he same would. executive that says they didn't have time is going to go to the gym at two o'clock and work out. Like you guys don't think that these people are so busy that they don't have time, right? I don't care who it is. Everybody makes time for things they want to do. They don't have time for people they don't know, never heard of, Want to be want to sell them something? They don't have time, right? So what they're going to do now is they're going to flip this. So Dave's going to make the sale, and he becomes the customer. And by the way, you can learn as much from being a customer as being the salesperson. Nailing. Steve, Dave here, Grant Cardone's office. What's happening? Uh, not much, man. What's happening? I'll be real quick. The Grant Ashley, he asked me to reach out to you. He's got a tool he created that increases sales by forty percent. In the first 60 days, he wanted me to give you some access to it. You have two minutes? Yeah, not right now, Dave, but we're all good. Dude, I knew you were good before I called you, man. We only do business with people that are good. I tell you what, give me 30 seconds. If you don't like what you see in the first 30 seconds, I'll hang up on myself. Well, why don't you just email me something? Maybe we'll take a look next time. Done. Quarter. What's your email? Steve at GrantCardone.com. I'm going to send that right over to you. Now, what do I need to put in there that would actually get your attention? What are your people are working on right now? Uh, well, I mean, we're always working on everything. Yeah, man, everybody's working on everything. But if there was one thing right now that just gives you a headache with your sales team, what would it be? Probably follow up. Man, why do you say follow up? They don't do it. How much money do you think that's costing you every month? I don't know. You got 10 sales guys? Yeah. You think each one of them misses one deal a month because they're not following up? Yeah, probably. It's one, what's one deal worth to your customer or to your company? $30,000. Man, that's $300,000 a month that you're missing out on because your follow-up's not there. That's over $3 million a year. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You got that too. Do, do I have your attention? But but you guys got to understand, Dave couldn't even multiply when he came. <laughs> <laughs> First 300 grand out, I was shocked. I was like, God damn, they just multiplied. I knew you weren't going to take it out 12 months. I'm like, ain't no way. <laughs> okay, okay, so look, give these guys a big. All right, I'll put that link in the chat uh, too for you guys because there was so much freaking gold in that. That sh- that's only a seven minute video, but there was so much gold in that. I want to pick it apart real quick. Um, what'd you guys pick up on? Give me some feedback real quick. Put it in the chat or actually let's unmute 
yourself. Let's make this interactive today. You all showed up today. Let's get our screens turned on. Let's make sure we're participating. Unless you're robbing a bank, don't, you know, turn your screen on. Uh, or if you got some other reason you can't, please let me know. But um, unmute yourself. What did you take away from that video right there? There was a few things that I wrote down um, when I watched that video. What was your takeaways? Every rebuttal that he, they, that he was getting, he had an answer for. So uh, it's pretty cool. Every rebuttal he had an answer for. Yep, yep. What else? What else we got? He, um, for me, it was, um, you guys can hear? Yeah. Okay. For me, it was where um, he suggested to the lead, um, tell me what is it that you want in an email or what is it that you want us to talk about? That one was um, very ironic because I'm not familiar with that process. So that one was very um, intriguing for me. Because if you're going to tell me what is it that you want us to talk about, seeing that you never have time, as he said, the, um, a person is never too busy for um, the right person or what is it that they want to do. And if it's the case that I'm go you're going to tell me what is it that you want us to talk about or you want me to send you, then I'm already um, getting your interest. So that's, that was yep. for me. That was was one of the very, very powerful ones right there that I took away. I wrote that down because how many times do people say, okay, can you just send me something? Can you email me? Can you just send me some info? Mm -hmm. Raise your hand if anybody's ever told you to send some info. Yes, I know for sure. they have, okay. or send me some listing and I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> exactly. So that's actually a good one. I, I never even really thought about it. I just learned something today on that one. When someone now tells you, send me some info, you need to now say, what would you like me to send you that's going to get your interest? This way I know I would send you the right information and I'm not just sending you something that's not going to be worth anything to you. That's very, very powerful because now what it does is it gets them to now tell you what they're interested in, right? And then now, and then from there, you can like now continue the conversation and try to work the conversation, right? So because sometimes it's just an automatic default yeah, go ahead and just send me some information. I'll check you guys out and I'll call you back. Okay, great, done. You notice how he said done? Done, I'll send you some info. What's your best email? Okay, one, two, three at gmail.com. Great, what do you want me to send you that's actually gonna get your attention? What information are you interested in knowing about right now? So I want you guys to all write that one down because I guarantee you, you're gonna have people all the time telling you just send me some information. Cause it's like a, it's like an automatic response answer, right? To get you off the phone. It, it is. Yeah. To get, get you off the phone. It's not exactly. a win guys. It's not a win the when they say that I not to cut you off Enrique, but it's not a win when they tell you just email me something. Don't think that's a win or it's not a win when they said, yeah, call me back next week. That's not, those are not wins guys. Those are, I call those, they're kind of blowing you off. Right, so that's why that that works yep. great. That that answer uh, works great for that scenario. I, I like that. Yeah, I really, really like that. What else did you guys take away? What else did you guys take away from that well, that video? One thing, one thing that I took away, Kiki, and I, I know I kind of I jumped in the middle of the uh, the role play, but he mentioned something that you get rusty within so much time, right? You get rusty like when you come back from a vacation. You get rusty within a day or two or three days without this. So I'm assuming he's saying that you need to practice this role playing. You need to actively be doing this role playing because this is our job, guys. This is this is this is the craft that we need to sharpen because this is what we're doing. We're talking to people all the time, and so if you feel like you're rusty, if you feel that you cannot react the way this gentleman just did. That means you need to practice it on a daily, daily basis. That was one of my takeaways. That was huge. That's, that's the other one that I wrote down is how long does it take for you to get rusty, right? If you haven't hit the phones in a while or you take off on a vacation or you skip a few days of call session or whatever it might be because you were sick or you had some issue or whatever, that's all it takes for you to get rusty. So then when you jump back on the phones and you're actually trying to do your follow-ups and call your leads, if you're rusty, your conversion goes down, right? Your ability to connect with someone goes down. I can speak to this. I just got back from vacation last night. I flew in late last night. I had to drive back from the airport. I didn't go to bed till like past midnight. This morning, I was a little tired. 
you know, I was a little tired trying to get back into the routine. My sleep's a little off, had a bunch of drinks over the weekend and stuff like that. So I had to get myself back in my routine this morning of waking up, doing the different things that I do, going to the gym to get myself back into that movement, back into that groove um, so that I'm not rusty. But it's going to take me a day or two, right? If I was out for four or five days, it's going to take me a couple of days to get back in that momentum. So um, for some of you guys, it, it could take just a few hours. If you're not that skilled or you're newer and like you missed one day of hitting the phones, right? And then you try to start the following day, you could lose that momentum, especially if you're newer, right? Because you don't, you haven't developed that fully. So it's extremely important that you make this a daily habit. And he said, it, he said they only role play for 20 minutes, 24 minutes, right? So it's just keeping it fresh, keeping it fresh, keeping it fresh, right? That was a, a big, big takeaway. Um, I like that he said stability too. He said stability, he knows what's going to happen every day. When I set role play every day in the morning from 8.30 or whatever, 8.40 to 9.04 p.m., 9.04 a.m., 24 minutes, I know that's going to happen every single day, and it creates stability in my schedule, creates stability in my momentum, and it's something like, yeah, I know this is going to happen, and it's just like clockwork, 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 right? Um, anything else? Any other takeaways that you got? Uh, on a, uh, how would you guys rate those guys? You guys think that those guys are pretty good salespeople? Yes, yeah. they are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they sounded pretty sharp, right? But do you notice how, how Grant Cardone said that a, a couple years ago, that guy couldn't even multiply, right? <laughs> and now here he is sounding, he's on stage talking, sounds super confident, the way he handled the objections, you know, all that good stuff. That is the power of consistency and practice and just committing to that craft, right? Um, you want to get better at closing more deals. You've got to get better at being able to communicate with people effectively, knowing how to answer objections. Um, I like how he did the math. What's the biggest problem your agents are having? And he said, follow up. He goes, well, do you think it's safe to say that your agents miss at least one deal a month, right? Because they don't follow up enough. He said, yeah. Then he multiplied it by 10 agents. Then he multiplied it by how much is each deal worth. Then he multiplied it by a year. So I want you guys to do the same thing. It's safe to say you miss one deal a month at least because you don't follow up or maybe because you're a little rusty in your sales skills, right? What's one deal a month equal in terms of dollars? 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, depending on, you know, the deal size splits, but it could be easily five to $10,000, even on a, on a conservative price point, you know, deal after splits, whatever it might be, five to 10 grand, you're, you're missing probably at least one sale a month, at least one sale a month that you're not getting because you didn't follow up with someone or because you didn't practice this enough. If you're missing 10 grand a month because of your practice and then you multiply that by 12, that's $120,000 a year that you are missing out on because you're not following up enough, right? Or because you're not practicing enough. So when you start putting it into terms of math and you start doing the numbers, then you're, you're like, okay, that's why I got to be on these calls. That's why I got to be doing this. Even though I'd rather be doing something else, that's why I got to do role play. That's why I got to show up to the prospecting session, all those different things. You can easily do the math. Um, okay, so second part of this, guys, um, is we're now going to practice. I want us to practice that initial script, that intro. So I crafted a quick little intro that we're going to practice. Uh, and it's just basically... Uh, Re-engagement introduction script. So a lot of us are following up with leads that were in the pond, right? Maybe they inquired three months ago, maybe six months ago, whatever it might be. 
we're going to craft, we're just going to work on this top part. And we're going to throw in an objection and we're going to see how you handle that first objection and your ability to just get back on track with trying to book the appointment. Your goal is to book the appointment, right? And I'll quickly role play it right now. Um, Jay, you want to role play it with me? Let's do it. Okay, so this is what we're working on, right? Uh, ring, ring, ring. Hello? Uh, Jason? Yeah, this is Jason. Hey, Jason, it's Enrique, PRG Real Estate. Uh, we're actually one of the preferred lenders with Zillow. We helped over 200 clients last year. Um, just giving you a quick follow-up call. You were online a couple months back and you were inquiring about buying a home. Just want to see if you guys ever uh, bought a home or, or where you guys are at with that. Uh, you know what? We, we actually put it on hold right now. Oh, okay. You guys put it on, on hold. What was that reason for that? Uh, just because the interest rates have gone up. So we think it may, you know, the rates may go back down. So we might, we're just going to hold off right now. Okay. So you guys, it's more about the finances? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great, great. So if you guys were able to get like into a, a better loan program or a better interest rate or get the finances all in order, that made sense for you. Do you guys, are you guys still looking to make a move this year? If, if the finances made sense? Uh, yeah. I mean, if, if the finances made sense, you know, we, we may, we may entertain it. Okay, great. All right. Stop right there. That's all we're going to work on right there. We're just going to work on the intro. We're going to throw an objection at you, see how you handle the objection and how you come back from that. Basically stop right there. Cause from there I could it down the road at the appointment and ask more questions and all that good stuff but we're just working on that first first piece right how confident do you sound in your intro how confident do you handle that first initial reaction or objection um that they throw at you so who wants to go first we're all going to go around the around the room and do it everyone's going to do it at least once and then we're going to give you some on the spot coaching i can i can go with someone if you get okay and try to just throw a, a different objection every single time, right? Or mix them, mix them up, basically. Ring, ring. Who wants? Who wants? I'll call someone. I'll call you, Senya. Ring, oh. ring. They have to call oh. you. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm calling you. I'm gonna call you, Senya, right? No, but we want them to role play. They have to be the agents. They're calling you to follow up. Right? There's like an echo. Hold on, let me go over to the chair in the front. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello? Hi, hi, Jason. How's it going? It's going well. Great. My name is Yesenia Zilla, preferred lender. I was reaching out to you because I saw that you had inquired on um, a property in like the last month. I wanted to see how your home search is going. Uh, you know what, Yesenia, we actually put the home search on hold for now, but thank you for the call. Okay, you did put the home search on, on, on hold. May I ask why? Uh, you know what? We, we just see that prices are a little too high, so we're going to hold off right now. There, okay. Well, if, um, if you, uh, there, I have, sorry, excuse me. A lot of the, our homes, our homes are actually, I am really like my, I cannot speak right now, but here it goes. I hear what you're saying. Start all over. Start all over. Okay. All over. Yeah, relax, relax. Yeah. Okay, ring, ring. Hello? Hi, Jason. This is Yesenia, Zillow Preferred Lender. I did see that you inquired in purchasing a property in the um, past month. I wanted to see how your home search is going. Uh, you know, hey, thanks, Yesenia, but we're going to hold off right now. We, we decided okay. To I hear you. So uh, what, if I may ask, what are, why are you holding off? Uh, you know, we just seen that, you know, home prices are a little too high for us right now. So They're a little too high for you right now. Okay, so what I'm hearing is that um, you think that your um, finances may not be where you would like them to be. Is that correct? Um, it's it's more along the lines of just you know we don't want to overpay for a property. Mm -hmm. and so I hear you. Have off. you had the chance to speak to a lender? Uh, no, no, we haven't. Okay, well, actually, I'm a lender myself. I'd be more than happy to sit with you just to see where your numbers are at the moment and how much you can qualify with um, the income that you have at the moment. Okay. Sounds good? Sounds good. All right, can we set an appointment for today? Good. All right, all right. <clears throat> just 
let's give her some feedback real quick. Any anything, uh, Jason? You can give her some feedback on. Yeah, I think uh, one is kind of slow down a little bit. I think you're a little fast, which I we don't want to be too slow, right? Because you're going to kill my attention. But a little, just to slow it down a little bit, and then let, wait for me to finish what I'm saying, right? Before you go ahead and jump in. And I don't know if it's because of the Zoom, if there's a lag time, but but just make sure you hear them out completely. And I think even in Enrique's um, script that he had, he says like there's like a slight pause, right? Because you kind of want to let them finish, make sure they're done, and then you kind of come back with what you're going to say right um but yeah no, it, it was good it was good yeah i i would say the same thing energy was high i know there may be a little lag on the zoom but here's here's the thing you got to remember if you're calling someone and they're really like mellow really low really slow and you're really high energy you're gonna yeah. clash right so you mirror and match, match Mirror and match. Mirror and match, right? As much mm -hmm. as possible, right? Gotcha. Um, so that's the only thing I would that's the only thing I would give you. And Yesenia, because I know you, you're naturally bubbly, high energy, and stuff like that. So maybe for you, um just just listening, right? And just like since he was talking kind of mellow and slow, try to bring it down a little bit. I think I think that would everything else you said was great. I think everything else was great. That's the only critique I have. Sounds right, good. good job. Give it up. Thank you. Me. All right. Who's next? Who's I'll next? Go next? I'll go next. Alessandra, you're calling me. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hello, Enrique. Oh, uh, yeah. Who's this? Hey, Enrique. This is Alessandra with the yeah. agency. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm good. Good. Who are you? Where are you from? You have a quick minute. I'm calling, um, where from, I'm calling from EXP Realty. So you inquired a couple months ago oh. and I just wanted to follow up with you and see how the home search is going for you. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were actually looking to sell our house, but we're not too sure if we're gonna sell after all. Why is that? Um, I, we just don't know if it's a good time just cause the, the market's kind of up and down and just not sure. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. I mean, have you talked to a realtor and see if um, you have to price your home and see if it's the right decision for you or time? Um, yeah, probably about six months ago. Okay, six months ago, you sat down with a realtor? Yeah, but, you know, we, we just, we never made, we never went forward with it. Oh, okay, what hold you so what hold you off is was because the market was up and down. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. We just weren't sure if it was a good time to sell. I mean, when you were gonna sell, where were you looking? Are you like moving out of the states or is it because of job? Or yeah, we want to relocate out of the state. Okay, let's stop right there. Let's stop right there. Just, yeah. Um feedback, feedback. I, I was I was trying to lead you in to, to, to give you some uh, some help on that. And you finally picked it up, right? When I said I was looking to sell, uh, you finally went to, why are you looking to sell? Where are you going to, you know, what were your plans, right? Which is, which is I think what we got to focus on, right? Rather than trying to focus straight on like making the, the sale happen, selling is a big decision. Ask me more questions about why I was looking to sell or why I don't think it's a good time or what my concerns were about the market, right? That's the biggest thing. And you did you did touch on that a little bit towards the end. They're it's not just sure. Like <laughs> yeah. When someone tells you they're not sure, Alessandra, you need this training right now. Let someone else answer that. No, it's just full of flex. That's fine. Don't worry. There's Money. more coming. <laughs> don't worry. There's more. Remember. Remember. If you don't get this down, it doesn't matter how many Zillow Flex leads I give you. If you don't get this stuff down, I can give you 100 Zillow Flex leads a day. You're not going to convert them at a high level. And that's a message not just for you, but for everybody, right? You got to get this part down. This part is way more important than the leads because then it doesn't matter where the lead comes from at that point. If you know how to talk to anybody and you know how to ask the right questions, you could be standing in front of Safeway and pull leads all day and close deals, right? It doesn't matter. 
So we got to get this part of it down right here, right? You have to be able to ask the right questions and connect with the people. Um, this is why, where we practice, right? Leave the Zillow Flex alone. You'll get more. As soon as it's over, I promise your phone's going to ring again. You got to ask more questions, guys. Go ahead, Jay. Um, so just, just kind of going back to exactly what Enrique mentioned in this beginning of the training, I want to really focus on your intro, Alessandra. And, and again, for me, your intro needs to be a little shorter and you can't ask, you know, how are you doing today? I mean, this is, and again, I, I don't ask those questions because I don't know who you are, right? So immediately when you ask me that, I already know that you don't know who I am. So I'm kind of already have a guard up, right? So I think you need to shorten your intro and it's more like, hey, Alessandra, this is Jason, the preferred broker with, with Zillow. I was just reaching out to you because it looks like a few weeks back you inquired about purchasing a property. Just wanted to touch base with you and see how is your home search coming along, right? I already spit it all out. And then now I'm ready for what you're gonna say to me. But if I put in there, how is my, how is your day to day? May I please speak with Alessandra? You know, say you're, you, you gotta shorten that, right? And I just want us to all focus on that intro. And that is huge because the rest of it is gonna be rebuttals and we're gonna have to get into that. But I want us to all focus today on what Enrique said was the intro, right? And it's really yeah. important that we get that intro because then we can build from there. But if the intro is all choppy, they're going to hang up on it. If you ask me immediately when telemarketers call me, Alessandra and all you guys, when they call me and they go, may I please speak with Jason Palomino? And I say, yeah, this is him. Hey, how is your day today? Click, I hang up because I already know the telemarketers. Well, I, I noticed, at least for me, when I call and I say their name, like, hey, J Enrique, and then they'll be like, oh, she knows me. Like, I, at least for me, at least that's what I, I noticed. Um, so that's what be like, hey, how are you? Or it depends how they answer after that. And then I usually be like, oh, well, I noticed you inquired or how are you doing? And, and again, maybe you guys, Enrique, give us some feedback on that, because my style may be a little, like you said, a lot straightforward. Because unless I know who they are, then I'm asking them how their day is, right? Now, now if I'm, not, I'm not saying that if I already built a relationship, then I'll say, hey, how are you doing today? Or, you know, what's going on? But if I don't know them, I'm immediately to the point, immediately, right? And it cuts out all yep. the, they don't have a chance to hang up. Feedback. So here, here's the follow-up on that is you got to remember that if it's someone that you don't know, you only have a few seconds to grab their attention. So you want to cut out as much fluff as possible and get straight to the point. Um, when you say their first name, that's perfect. Because even if I'm like, well, who's this? Now you have my attention, right? Now you have my attention and I'm going to listen to the next line that you say. So let's, let's role play that right now, Alessandra. I'm going to call you. Hello? Are, uh, are ring, you ring, ring, ring. Hello? I'm calling you. Yeah, ring, ring, ring. Hello? Alessandra? Yes. Hey, this is Enrique. You don't know me. I'm actually a Zillow premier agent. You went on our website a few months back. Um, we help out a lot of people in the area buy and sell homes. Did you guys ever, did you ever buy a home yet? Or what was going on with that? I was just following up. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I do remember I inquired. Um, but we're not interested anymore. Okay, let's stop right there. So you see, it actually worked because it, you're like, uh, who's this? Mm -hmm. And then now, now I had your attention and now I gave you my spiel. Now let's try it again. Let's try it again. Uh, ring, ring, ring. Hello? Hi, Alessandra. Yes, this is her. Hi, how are you doing today? Good. You see how awkward that was right there? Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> good. Enrique, oh, real quick. Oh, this is Enrique. Yeah, I'm, I'm with uh, PRG. Enrique, I want to circle, go back really quick, guys. I want you to understand. You see my intro and Enrique's intro? They're, they're different. They're definitely different. They're straight to the point. But in, what I loved about Enrique's intro was that he sounded curious. Like, hey, by the way, like, you know, did you end up buying a house? He sounded really interested in, in if you were able to do that transaction. And I, that was that was really good, Enrique, right? Because mine and my style is a little different. And I like that because it sounded like he was truly interested. 
right? And if, if you show interest, they're going to be interested. All right, so that was really, I just wanted to make sure we, I don't know if you caught what you did in there, Enrique, so I want to make sure we did get some focus on that. Good job. I, I do that because it takes away me sounding like a salesperson. It sounds like someone who is concerned and interested in like what's going on with them. Hey, I'm just doing a follow-up call. Did, did you guys ever buy a home or what, what happened with that? That's a tactic, right? Because it, it, lo it lowers the guard. It's like non like invasive. It's like, Hey, just curious. Like what, what happened? And I even changed my voice a little, like it, my voice lowers a little bit. And they're like, oh, well, here's what happened, right? It gets them like feeling warm and it gets them to give me the information with less friction, right? Hello? Oh, possibly, possibly. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I had someone come to my house. So guys, let's continue. Let's continue the, uh, let's continue the round circle of, of role playing this. Who wants to go next? Because we have a few minutes. I'll go next. Go ahead. Let's let's do it, Jobo. Call. Um, go ahead and call Tony. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Tony. Yeah, speaking. Hey, Tony. This is Jomo with PRG Real Estate. Um, you inquired a couple months ago about purchasing a home, so I'm just checking to see how your home search is going. Um. How's everything going? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> We're getting everything that we need. Thank you for calling, though. Okay, got it. And um, what do you what do you what do you mean by that, though? Did you already buy? Were you working oh, with a lend realtor? Yeah, we already have a lender. My husband he has a brother who is a realtor and. Mm -hmm. We also are working with the lenders, so we're good. We're all set. Thank you for checking. All righty, no problem. And have you gotten a chance to get a second like opinion? Because the market is looking pretty crazy now, and there are a lot of different, um, you know, programs out there. So I really wanted to, you know, just to see where your where your mind is at right now. Um, where exactly were you looking to purchase? Well, actually, my husband is the one who is doing all of that. So okay, we're. I'm not quite sure on where he's at with that. So I couldn't advise you as, on such, but I do know that <laughs> we're good because that's what he told me. All right, you got it, not a problem. Well, what I'm- Okay, stop right there, stop right there. Okay, stop right there. We're just working on that intro part, intro part, okay, right? Okay. Um, what you do, I, I felt like what you, you came off good, you went straight to the point, you said, Tony, hey, this is Jomo. You didn't, you know, go into too much detail, like fluff or anything in the beginning. Um, and I really liked how you questioned, what do you mean by that, right? Did you guys pick up on that? When she goes, oh, we're good. We have everything we yeah. need. Oh, okay, great. Uh, what exactly do you mean by that? that the right? other day. <laughs> what exactly do you mean by that? Did you buy yeah, a home? I Did you, you guys? Yeah, um, for me, it wasn't, um, what do you mean by that? Um, the lead said, um, we're all taken care of, we're good. And I said, um, when you say you're all taken care of, did you already found a home? <laughs> so that's yeah. how I questioned it. Yeah. So that's the thing, right, is you can't be scared when they throw an objection at you, right? You got to just take it in and then <laughs> ask more questions about that. And then you'll be able to unravel whether that's an opportunity you should pursue or whether you should just back off, right? So I really like mm -hmm. um, how you sounded smooth, you, right to the point. And I like how you asked, what do you mean by that when you say you're all taken care of? Did you buy a home already? Are you still looking? Because <laughs> you got to get something to work with, right? If she just says, I'm all taken care of, oh, okay, great. There's not really much there, right? What do you mean by that? Don't be afraid to ask that question to get, you know, to get more ammunition so that you can use on the call. Um, Enrique. So, so good I, job, man. I, I would, yeah. No, no problem. I, I got a call yesterday. Um, I think it was the day before yesterday. And I asked how everything was going. And he says, um, he's not looking. So I'm like, what changed your mind? Nothing. So I was like, you're telling me that nothing changed your mind? You were inquiring six months ago. And he, and he laughed <laughs> and he was like, nothing. So I was like, so what, um, are you rent, are you currently renting right now? And he said, yes. So I'm like, 
that's so what was the main reason for inquiring six months ago and he laughed and he was like um i can't talk right now bye <laughs> so i guess he didn't expect me um yeah. after he said nothing i i was like nothing changed your mind you're telling me that you were inquiring a while ago um a couple months ago and nothing changed your mind but you changed your mind so he started laughing and then he hung up <laughs> So that's why oh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I was like, nobody's going to tell me that because that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. So Jay, that was just an encounter. Real quick. Right. So Jason, what, what would you have said knowing that well, you're kind of yeah, sick with no, your no, tongue? No, what, no, would you, see, what would you have said? What I would have said, Joe, I was like, I was like excellent. So you, you, you change your mind or you're not interested. Well, hey, well, let me ask you a question. If I was able to find you the right property, and the right price and the right location with the right terms, would you consider purchasing? Right. That's when I would use that. I would kind of create that, that mm -hmm. logic of, okay, cool. Hey, Joe, I totally understand that, you know, you don't know why you changed your mind, but let me ask you if I was able to find you the right property in the right location with the right price when the right terms, would you consider purchasing sooner than later? Right. And then okay. we go down there. He says, no. Okay, so you're not in, then at that point, I already kind of shot everything and he's basically not interested, right? Or he, maybe he's not a buyer anymore, right? Um, but but a, one of the things, and I know we're focusing on, on the intro, mm -hmm. but again, a lot of the other, the other thing that I like to use is when people say they're not interested, I always ask them, you know, I totally understand, Jomo, you're not interested, but at one point in time, you were interested what has changed right, right? That, that those are game changers right there because you're we can already anticipate that they're going to say i am not interested that's a given right so again i want us to be prepared to have access to what are we going to say when they when they say i am not interested immediately yeah, i say yeah. i totally understand jobo you're not interested but at one one time you were interested what has changed and then it opens up well, interest rates, home prices, I got divorced, whatever has changed. And then we try to create a solution, right? Let, let, let's, let's, let's focus on this intro. Uh, Lily, you ready? Yeah, call, I guess so. Call me. Remember, guys, it's really just focusing on the intro. Let's go, Lily. You got this. Come yeah. on. Shake it off. Cabo was last week. No, I just, oh, I just don't feel good today. That's my voice. I think I lost my voice, so I'm kind of struggling to talk. No worries, no worries. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. Just the intro. Go ahead. You can go ahead and call me. Hit okay. It. <clears throat> okay. Hold on. Okay, I'm good. Ring, ring. Call me. Oh, hi, Jason. Yeah, this is Jason. Hey, it's Lily over with uh, Zilla Premier. I was following up. Uh, you inquired about purchasing a home a couple months ago, and I wanted to follow up with you. Did you end up purchasing? Um, you know what, Lily, we, we haven't purchased yet and we're, we're just kind of, we're still kind of just looking online right now. Okay, nice. Um, are you still looking for the same uh, criteria that you were a couple months ago? Yeah. Yeah. We're looking for a three bedroom, two bath. Yeah. Okay. Um, so have you just been continuously looking? Has there been anything at all that's caught your attention? Um, you know, to be honest, we're just kind of waiting to see like what happens with the prices and the interest rates. Okay. Um, yeah. No, so I mean, I, I don't blame you. There's a lot going on and I definitely understand why you're being cautious about it. But since the last time we spoke, I know it was just a couple of months ago, but there's definitely been a lot of change in the market within the criteria that you were looking for. If you have just like 10 minutes, I'd love to get together. That way I can show you what's changed um, and see if it would make sense for you to buy because there's definitely a lot of opportunities since the last time that we spoke. Okay, sounds good. Cool, good, good job. Good job, Lily. Oh, solid, <laughs> super solid. I like cool. it. Here, here's what I like about that. Cool, calm, collect. Like you weren't razzled by the objection. It's like, oh, okay, great. Yeah. Hey, you know, since the last time we spoke, there's been some changes. I like how you said, hey, were you still looking for the same criteria? Because now it's like gets them to talk about the criteria, right? So I think that was a really, really solid, solid intro. Good job. Thanks. Good job, Lily. Good job. Thank you. Dewey. Let's call on Dewey. Let's go, Dewey. 
You're I'm calling busy. me doing ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, is this Enrique? Uh, yeah. Who's this? Hey, my name is Dewey. I'm part of a uh, premier agent at Zillow. Um, just a few months back, just to touch base with you, you were purchasing some home, uh, inquiring about purchasing some home. Uh, just wondering, how's that Zach been coming along? Uh, yeah, we're not really interested anymore. Uh, at, some, at one point you were interested, what changed? Um, okay, let's stop right there. Dewey, are you nervous? Uh, a little bit, but I'm I'm try, I'm trying to uh, make it smoother. Okay, shake it off, shake it off. Come on, do what you gotta do. Dude, come on. Hands. Come on. Right, let's go, Dewey. <laughs> hey, Dewey, talk to me like you talk to your to one of your friends, right? Talk to me like you talk to one of your friends. Like, don't like casual. Keep you know, just keep the tone going, right? Like, don't don't. Try Try to sound like so, so professional um, mm -hmm. where you like freeze yourself up, right? So let's try that one more time. Just talk to me nice and casual. Hey, it's Dewey, you know, P PRG or Zillow Premier, whatever you want to say. I was just call the follow up. You guys look like you inquired about purchasing a home. Did, did you guys ever buy a home or how's that going? Right? Just real cool, calm, collect, right? And speak up a little bit. Give me some more energy, a little more energy like you would talk to one of your buddies you just saw from high school, right? All right, ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, is this Enrique? Yeah, yeah. Who's this? Hey, this is Dewey. I'm I'm from uh, Premier Agent at Zillow. I'm here. Uh, just just a few months back, you were inquiring about purchasing a home. Just want to touch base with you. How's that coming along? All right. Uh, it's it's uh it's coming along. We're still looking right now. We haven't really seen anything uh, we like, so we're just kind of still browsing online yeah no problem uh have you been browsing on your own or with an agent uh with an agent just kind of on our own um just kind of just checking things out yeah of course sounds great um uh have you have a uh, that's where i get stuck ask me more um, questions about where i'm going ask me questions about where i'm moving to Okay, and where are you planning to? Uh, what location are you looking into? Uh, your uh, when you search for your home, probably either San Jose or Milpitas. That's kind of where we wanted to stay. Yeah, of course, I love San Jose. Um, are you looking? Uh, what's your max price range? Okay, let's stop right there. Okay. All right, Dewey. You see how different that was? You like. The first one, you were a little nervous, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of shook it off. Second one came a lot more natural. But mm -hmm. remember, the, the more you want to get me talking, right? So you don't want to just keep skipping to you, uh, like stopping me and then going to a whole nother subject. Ask a couple follow-up questions mm -hmm. about whatever, like, how's your home search going? We're, we're just searching online. Awesome. Where are you guys looking to move? San Jose Milpitas. Oh, okay, great, great. What uh, is there anything, any particular reason for San Jose Milpitas? Do you guys work nearby? What do you guys like most about San Jose Milpitas, right? Ask more questions, like two or three more questions about the answer I just gave you, right? So let's try that one more time. Uh, yeah, Dewey, we're just kind of looking online, man. We're just kind of looking and, you know, we haven't done anything yet. We're still kind of looking. Sounds great. When you are looking, uh, what location are you looking at? Um, probably like San Jose or, or Milpitas. Yeah, of course. Uh, and around San Jose and Milpitas, there's a lot of home. Um, in turn of that, what price range are you looking into? Okay. Stop. Okay. You're going, you're skipping to price already, right? Oh, I want yeah. you to go back and ask me, ask Two more questions about why San Jose, why Milpitas, what oh, do I like my. about that area? Is there a particular part of that San Jose or Milpitas, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, Dewey, we're just, we're kind of looking in San Jose and Milpitas. Sounds great. Uh, why, why, why are you choosing San Jose? Is it for school or uh, for uh, closer to work? Yeah, so I actually, um, I own a business in Milpitas, uh, 
a small restaurant. So I kind of want to stay next to that area. Uh, that makes total sense. Uh, yeah, of course, we have a lot of great home near those area and I can send you some home that fits your price range in, the, in those area. Uh, but before that, I would like to grab some information from you. Would that be okay? Okay, stop, stop, okay. stop, stop. Dewey, I just told you that I own the restaurant. So what question would you ask me next? Oh, what restaurant would it, what, what, what restaurant are you, uh, yeah. <laughs> I get too excited. Right? So like, oh, I want, I can, mm -hmm. so this is a good one. This is a good, a good example, right? I want you to be more, more interested in me and not, not yeah. just going down the list of all the things you have to ask me, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's how you build rapport. You got to connect with the client, right? You, you want to be interested in what I have to say. Right. That's the big thing, because if you just do that, like, how can I be more interested in them? It's going to open up the conversation more and I'm going to feel a little more comfortable with you. And then you're going to feel a little more comfortable with me and mm -hmm. you'll sound a lot smoother. Right. So remember, like this is role play. Right. So ask me a bunch of questions about my restaurant. Right. Because I if I own a restaurant, I'd probably like to talk about my restaurant. Right. Yeah, of course. At, so use your imagination. No, yeah, so I own a restaurant in Milpitas and I kind of want to stay near my restaurant. Yeah, of course. What restaurant is it? Dewey, you gotta sound excited for me, bro. Like oh, sound oh, okay. excited that I that I own. Let's go, restaurant. Dewey. Let's go. All right. Um what restaurant is um what, what do you serve at your restaurant? Uh, um it's actually a Vietnamese food. Oh Vietnamese food? Hey, guess what? I'm Vietnamese. <laughs> So, um, are, uh, <laughs> is it, uh, are you selling pho? <laughs> yeah, we do pho. We do like rice plates and stuff like that. You should come check it out, man. It's really good. I would love to check it out. Uh, tell you what, I, I can check it out, but only if you will give me some time, uh, up your time so we can sit down and talk about how can he eat. Oh, okay, I'm trying to make it smooth, but it, but uh, I'm trying to sign, but I'm too excited after you said fun. <laughs> All right, there you go. So, but I'll, I'll practice take a break. More. I will practice. Take a more. break right there. Take a break right there, right? So just sound interested, right? Like, I think Dewey, like the nerves, like, don't worry about everyone in the office listening to you, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you, you got to stop worrying about everybody listening to you because that's making you nervous mm -hmm. and it's coming across in your conversations, right? You just do your thing. You just do Dewey. Remember, remember in the, in your interview when we, yeah. when we first met with you? Yes. In the beginning, you were a little nervous. Mm -hmm. And then once we started talking, you opened up, bro. You opened up and yeah. you started telling me about like your life and all these different yeah. different things and like that's when jason were like all right this guy ha this guy has some some potential but you gotta get over that first nervous part bro you gotta just shake that shit off and just talk and just be you just be dewey just be you don't worry about like who's on the phone just do your best to connect with the people on the phone and wow. be genuine and you know bring that personality that you have that's the difference I think that little thing right there is the difference maker for you. Thank okay, real you so quick, let me, let me, let me add to Dewey real quick. I know we have to go, but a few things, you know, this, I think this helps everyone. You're going to get two types of clients, guys. You're going to get the ones where you're going to have to fire off, fire off the LP mama. You're going to get some of those that just want to get you off the phone, but then you're going to get someone like what Enrique just did right now. You know, he was, he was giving you information. So you got to decide and kind of figure out which, which, who you're performing for, right? Because someone like Enrique, the way he role played with you right now, Dewey, he was willing to have a conversation with you. And that's what you want. You want to keep people having a conversation. The, the more conversation you're going to have, you're going to build rapport. You're going to find out more about them. And then also you'll be able to figure out what their needs are, right? So immediately it's just like, hey man, cool. You own a restaurant. What type of food do you serve? Where's your, where's your restaurant located at? Yeah, man, that's, you know, I love, my son loves pho, right? He loves pho, and, and again, so we would love to come check it out. And then, you know, just, just kind of digging into that. And then they're, Enrique's going to interact with that, right? And so, but I think a good, a good thing to understand, there's going to be some people that are just like, yeah, they just want to, they just want to get you on and off the phone. And there's going to be another audience that are going to allow you to talk to them and go ahead and want you to kind of build that rapport.
right? So kind of recognize that. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you're taking some notes, Dewey. Um, write it down somewhere. If you have to give yourself a reminder, just be myself. Don't worry. Just put it up there. Um, right? Because I think that's that's the big thing. Just just keeping yourself relaxed, bro. That's gonna that's gonna allow you to open up and build rapport. All right, guys, we're at time now. Um, thank you guys for showing up today. Hopefully, you guys got some value. We'll do this Please next practice. week again on Wednesday. Remember, this these are the times where you practice. These are the sessions you practice in. These are what are gonna make you better. This is where you get the the stuff off, right? You wanna all always practice before you go live on your calls with your clients. You don't want to practice on the lead. You want to practice in the classroom, on the role play, and then you want to perform. Okay, okay, one last thing, one last thing. Guys, I really want to make this clear is that when you're here in the office, someone like Dewey, please pull people to the side and role play this. This is the classroom. Now you guys got to do the homework. The homework is daily, 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 daily role playing. That's the only way you're going to get better, guys. So please, please, everyone in this room and this office is willing to role play with you. I got about 15 people in here right now that will role play. If you just pull them to the side and say, hey, I want to practice my intro. And I guarantee you, if you do that 10 times a day, by next Wednesday, you guys will be good to go. Thanks, Kicks. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Enrique. Thanks, Enrique. Thanks, Enrique.